Michael Hunter has called out the can man, aka the body snatcher, aka Dylan White. As you can see here from this tweet, he said, I want a real dance, hit me up, can man. Well, the general response I'm seeing from people is dismissive. They're saying that Michael Hunter can't beat Dylan White, he'd get knocked out, he's not big enough, he doesn't have enough power, he wasn't impressive against Povetkin, so on and so forth. I'm not surprised that people are still underestimating Michael Hunter. And the fact that they are still underestimating him just makes me even more confident that at some stage, Michael Hunter is going to pull off a major upset in the heavyweight division. People just can't get their heads around the idea of a small heavyweight who's not a massive puncher having success in the land of the Giants. Well, it's not unprecedented, people, believe it or not. There have been many, many, many heavyweights over the years who have been little guys who have moved up from light heavyweight or cruiser haven't been very big punchers, but yet they've managed to uh, score very impressive victories at the very highest levels in the heavyweight division. And all I've seen of Michael Hunter has convinced me that he's going to be one of those guys. He is going to turn over one of the big names in the heavyweight division before it's all said and done. I can't tell you for sure who it's going to be, but I wouldn't rule out it being Dylan White if that fight takes place. Yes, I think Michael Hunter is that dangerous and that much of a dark horse in the division. You know, against Povetkin, I picked Michael Hunter to win on points. I was actually surprised when he came out as aggressively as he did and he managed to shake Povetkin and whatnot. And people are acting like the only way that Hunter's performance against Povetkin would have been impressive is if he knocked Povetkin out. People, there is room for you know, medium level punches in the heavyweight division to be successful. Tyson Fury hasn't built his career at top level on being a massive puncher, has he? And of course, throughout the course of boxing history, Michael Spinks upset Larry Holmes. Evander Holyfield upset Mike Tyson, upset Riddick Bowe in the rematch. And if you go even further back, I mean, Muhammad Ali wasn't a massive puncher, he had decent power, don't get it twisted. But I'm telling you that Michael Hunter's also got decent power. He's not a big puncher, but he's not a guy whose shots you can just walk through and pay them no attention at all. Povetkin's always had a good chin, and I'm telling you, he was buzzed on multiple occasions against Michael Hunter. So I, people are still underestimating this guy, and that is exactly why he is going to score at least one major upset in the heavyweight division before his days are done in this sport so we'll see what happens here with Dylan White it looks as though Dylan White is going to fight Povetkin anyway stylistically I think Michael Hunter is a tougher fight for Dylan White than Povetkin because Michael Hunter uses his feet he's fast he's slick he's elusive yes he can be reckless at times and if he is reckless like that against Dylan White you could get clocked with that big left hook and it could be good night Vienna but I don't know. I think that against Dylan White, Michael Hunter would be a lot more careful. I mean, we saw Michael Hunter be quite careful against Kuzmin. He wasn't as reckless against Kuzmin as he was against Alexander Povetkin. I think with Povetkin, he saw an old man. And because of that, he thought, let me be the young guy here. Let me just try and overwhelm him. Excuse me, overwhelm him with my youth and exuberance. And he nearly did. But against somebody like Dylan White, I think he would be a lot more circumspect and calculated, use a lot more movement, try and take advantage of the fact that Dylan White doesn't have as good a balance or foot speed as Hunter does. And Hunter's got decent arm length. You know, he's got decent reach on him. The guy is, what is he, 6'2"? But he's got a decent reach, I'm telling you. <laughs> so people still underestimating Michael Hunter. Uh, we'll see what happens in his career, but I'm expecting him to do some pretty good things. I'm not saying he's going to dominate the division or any anything like that. I just think he'll pull off at least one major upset before his time is done. So it could be Dylan White. It could be Fury. It could be Wilder. It could be AJ. It could be somebody else. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, again, I can't see Dylan White taking this fight right now because the Povetkin fight deal is pretty much done. Povetkin's a bigger name, truth be told, than Michael Hunter. He's more 
accomplished and all that kind of stuff. And although Hunter's coming off a draw with Povetkin, the general public, the casuals, they're going to recognize Povetkin as a name more than they are Michael Hunter. So, you know, and uh, perhaps people will give Dylan White more credit for beating Povetkin than Hunter. I personally wouldn't. I'd give Dylan White more credit for beating Hunter than Povetkin at this stage. I think stylistically, Hunter is a more difficult fight for him. And Hunter's a young guy, really ambitious. Whereas Povetkin's like an old veteran at this stage whose career is winding down. And so even though they had a draw, I just think Michael Hunter is the one with more upside as an opponent in terms of he's going to get better. Whereas Povetkin surely is only going to get worse. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Will this fight happen? Would you like to see it happen? And if it did happen, how would it go? This happened, I'm out.